COVID's on the naughty list this year, 100%. Yo, look at the dog. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Jonathan McNamee, you're watching That Guy Talks. Today we are delivering a package to my buddy Matt. To my number 10 Christmas movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas. I love the, the way that it depicts Halloween and depicts Christmas. Jack Skellington is one of my favorite characters. Number 9, it is The Polar Express. My aunt Marine used to read the Polar Express every Christmas Eve to my cousin Shannon and I. It was just something that I always remember being a wonderful, wonderful story. And then the movie is a great depiction of it. Number eight. Number eight. I would have to go with The Muppets Christmas Carol. I love seeing Michael Caine be Scrooge and seeing Kermit and Miss Piggy, Gonzo and the little rat be the narrator. Classic uh, Charles Dickens novel and they turned it into a great movie. Number seven is a claymation. One of those old school claymation movies. Woo! Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I watch it every, every time that it's on. Number six, good old Macaulay Culkin. Home Alone, the sticky bandits or the wet bandits come to town and they try to take over Christmas. It's a longer walk than I expected. If you like what you see, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. That guy talks every Sunday I drop a video. Number five would have to be the classic, The Santa Claus. Tim Allen uh, watches somebody fall off of a roof, puts the jacket on, puts the Santa pants on, turns into Santa Claus. Number four. Yo, look at the dog. Hi, buddy. Is this, your, is this his first snow or her yes. first snow? Yes. Oh, wow. You liking the snow, buddy? I know, he's like, what is this falling from the sky? I got great news. I saw a dog today. Oh man, I feel like Buddy the Elf. So number four is Elf. Elf is a human that is raised by elves to then find his father in New York who is on the naughty list. I'm probably on the naughty list this year. COVID's on the naughty list this year, 100%. Number number three. Good TV special. Charlie Brown's Christmas. He gets one of those rinky-dink Christmas trees. Tries to bring the actual meaning of Christmas, not just the presents, but it's the family, it's the friends, it's everybody that you have around you at the time. Let me look both ways before we... I'm going this way, but thank you. Appreciate it. My number two is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The live-action Jim Carrey version. All right, now the snow is coming at me. Fix my... Santa hat here. And the number one that I would say is my favorite Christmas movie would have to be It's a Wonderful Life. One of my favorite Christmas memories when I was about sixth or seventh grade and my mom went to go see Santa in the mall with myself and she asked for a man for Christmas. And she got about 20 of them, but they were all in firefighter uniforms and ready to save the day on Christmas morning because there was a gas leak in the kitchen. And that exact same Christmas, the best Christmas present I've ever received because all the presents were over. My father, who was up from Florida, told me, hey, there's a present downstairs underneath the basement table. Would you mind grabbing it for me? So I run down, I grab it. I go back to playing with whatever toy I was playing with. He's like, it's for you, open it. So I open it and it's the Nintendo Wii. I start going haywire, going nuts. And I'm like, no way, this is crazy. It's like basically the PS5 nowadays. One of my favorite Christmas memories. Still got this package here, gotta drop it off. I'm turning into Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer with my nose. Whew, like my sweater. I got Santa putting on the green. I hope you guys have a happy holidays, Merry Christmas and really enjoy it this year with everything going on. The pandemic really put us at a, at a turning point of our lives. And I think that family and tradition is something that we should stick to. So talking about my traditions and my family was a wonderful way of sharing. I would love to hear your Christmas traditions and your family's things that they do every Christmas morning. Throw that down in the comments below. Love to hear it. Enjoy it. Thanks. Back to the North Pole.
Cue that music. I saw a dog today.